Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am down in Bradford. Just dropped Ben off at school, and now I'm heading to McDonald's. This is uh, one of those weird, crazy days where I uh, needed to get up really early uh, because I need the car. Ben needs a ride to school. Carol needs the car, so uh, we were zero on cars for Ken. So we had to tag team it. So I'm drop just drop Ben off. Carol will be picking up Ben later, after work, after school, and because I need to shoot a vid video right now, edit it, put it up before my mom gets to my house, uh, which is going to happen around one o'clock. Uh, but there've been there've been a couple weeks in the past where I'm like, you know what, I I, I don't want to do a video today, and, and it's just going to cause a lot of problems, and and but. That's it hurts my bottom line and it also hurts my uh, following who really wants to see a video every Monday Wednesday Saturday or Friday um, I'm kind of liking the Saturday releases but I'm not sure like I'm thinking about I'm always thinking about how to try to make things better for you guys so like Monday Wednesday and then Thursday Thursdays and then live Fridays and then a, a drop of video on Saturday I think that's gonna be the way I wanna do it from now on. Let me know in the comments below if you like that. So Monday mukbang, Wednesday cook and review or an, a video because Paul and I can't seem to get together. Uh, and then Thirsty Thursdays, and which reminds me, I need to pick up something for Thirsty Thursdays because I'll need to shoot something for tomorrow. Um, somebody also requested something that was really enticing enticing anyway and then live Fridays and then Saturday have another food review uh, old school food re old school old school food review anyway I gotta set all my stuff up get this shot get home edit it before my mom gets there so we have to work on my taxes and my books and all that let's do it and I'm like what haven't I done at McDonald's for breakfast there there actually are a couple other things I still haven't done uh, as just a straight-up food review I've never just done a straight-up food review of this but uh, it's been part of other videos and it is possible in the near future I might do a mukbang and try to eat like I don't know 10 pancakes or something I don't know we'll see we'll see all right so we got our nice plastic lid oh it smells so good Scratch it, sniff it, the rest is mine. I don't know how McDonald's makes their pancakes. I've never asked, nobody's ever told me. All right, but. vlog people. Uh, I, there seems to be some confusion on this channel when I do this. So I, as a vlogger and a food reviewer and a gamer and an uncut and raw kind of guy, I have these four channels and they often cross with each other. So when you when I do a, a vlog like today and I need to go and do a food review, um, I, I incorporate that into my vlog because that's what I do. This is what I do for a living. And uh, you know, when, when uh, Casey Neistat is doing some type of a business thing, he takes you along with him because that's, that's, that's a part of his day. He might not necessarily show you exactly what he's doing. So same with this. On my vlogs, I like to show you a little bit of behind the scenes, a little bit of the video that you might see today or tomorrow or Saturday, upcoming videos. And I'll give you like a little sneak peek. And that's why I put the little titles in there. I think most people get it, but every once in a while, some some people come by thinking that it's like a food review or something. And uh, I'm not sure how I can, like I, I have those, even those fun transitions with the, the, the film coming in and out just to kind of show you that there's been a passing of the stories changed to this and I put up a title saying you can watch the rest of this video or the rest of this food review maybe it's just a wording I got to change my wording because it's obviously confusing some people most of the people who know who I am from the big channel and know how I do my vlogs totally get it but new people that come in for the first time to my vlog channel see this kind of a video they're like how come I didn't get to see you eat it and it's like, well, that's over on the other channel. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just too confusing. Maybe it's just that one person. I don't know, but I'm having a McDonald's double double. Look at the size of that sucker. Sucker! 
<sighs> and and these vlogs on the days that I'm doing food reviews, I often like to uh, show you how I do everything. You know, back in the day, for you for those of you guys who've been around a really long time, I used to have a cardboard box that had my lights, my cameras and stuff in it and it would just, I would like carry it from my house into the car, set everything up, put the cardboard box on the floor and eventually I decided once I sold my big camera, I uh, had a uh, Canon 5D and I sold it and because I sold it, I didn't really need this camera bag anymore and so I'm like, well I'm not using this camera bag anymore for that. So I dumped everything out and converted it into my vlog, uh, or sorry, my food review bag. And it's got cameras and mics and selfie sticks, like anything I possibly might need for doing a food review. So I have my lights here. Let's shut that off. When I first got here, like the wind, it's, it's, it snowed last night. And uh, so it was, it seemed like it was gonna be very cold this morning. When you looked outside, it looked like it was gonna be minus something. And uh, luckily it wasn't. So it was still kind of cold, but my windshield was cold enough that that camera would not stick to the windshield. And it fell off twice before I started filming. And I thought it was gonna be a, the start of a really bad day. So that's the, the light that I use. It's an underwater light. And the reason I bought it uh, it wasn't for the underwater capabilities. It's because it's so small and thin and tiny. Uh, a lot of other lights are like panels. They're like this big. And so it's like, where am I? I could put one over there and I have used one over here. Uh, when I, when I did one of my mukbangs in, in, I think it was the, the goulash one. I put a, a panel light just right here and it worked great, but it's a big panel light. And, uh, luckily I was just doing a one camera shoot. Uh, and this one, seems to be fine and what I did was I, I got a Wendy's wrapper and diffused the light a little bit more because the, the difference between this light and this light with the diffuser on it is nice this is softer this is hard light so it gives you soft shadows and stuff so I put that one right there just above the camera so it gets lights up this area there's been so many videos in the past where like this area is just so dark and uh, because you got all this light coming in from the sides, I hope you guys are appreciating this, this, this little tidbit of information of that is my life. Another thing too, often I'll, I'll uh, uh, get to a shoot because I'm just kind of like, oh, I got to get out and I got to do this. You know, I have to edit my vlog. I got to get uh, out, get a food review done, get home, edit it, put it out. And then I get to the food review, halfway through the food review, I look at my nails and they're long and dirty because I was just in a rush in the morning, didn't have time to shower, shave, and now I'm doing a food review where I'm showing people food really close up and my fingernails are dirty. Uh, I actually, I think threw away a video because I'm like, all the comments are gonna be how dirty my fingernails were. And it's cause I was like gardening the day before and didn't wash my hands well enough. It happened. So, so I went and bought myself, cause they're only like a buck maybe two dollars at the at the most so i bought myself a nail clipper and when i first bought it i kept it in here but then ben would use my car and then i'd use carol's car and then i wouldn't have my nail clippers with me and so i'd be like just trying to do it with my finger my, my thumbnail and then eventually i'm like okay that's it this bag is in every single video i use it every single time so i'm gonna put this this inside this little pouch <laughs> all set all right no more dirty fingernails during a food review. That's just disgusting. All right, we gotta get home, edit this video, and then uh, my mom's coming, and we're gonna get some, get our taxes done. I have to just fill in all the gaps, all the questions. She's like, well, where did this money come from, and where did it go? Okay, that's where, that's the link, okay. And it's because she doesn't have every single piece of information. All right, let's go home. Made it home. I just got to uh, get my key.
keys already. It's hard to get all these things going when you only have one hand to grab stuff. I always try very hard to take this out of the car because there's been a couple times where I uh, got to a location using Carol's car because Ben had my car with my tray in it and there was no tray so oh here's a part of my day you guys don't usually see especially with one hand <laughs> uh, I gotta lock the car there we go What do you want? And there he is, hi. No jumping, get back. Uh oh, look at this. So Ninja knows how to open doors. Smart cat knows where the dog treats are. Look at this, wow. Unbelievable. Sam, this is a no. We usually put a wooden spoon through. Stop the ninjas. Ninja doesn't understand that one. He's, he's almost smart enough. All right, let's get busy editing. Just as I walked up to my computer, I just remembered I wanted to tell you guys something. I woke up this morning to my Monday video being um, limited to ads or taken ads completely taken off my video so it was good for probably about 30 hours everything was fine and all of a sudden I got a notice this morning saying that you are not allowed to make mon money on this video anymore and there's nothing wrong with the thumbnail there's nothing wrong with the video it's all within the parameters of YouTube and uh, so I went in there's, there's supposed to be a button just inside uh, I guess when you go to edit that video on YouTube, I guess like the title and the description, all that stuff under monetization, there's a usually, usually a button saying that basically you want to appeal this and have them do a manual visual check of this video to make sure that it's fine. That advertisers will want to advertise on that thing. That button isn't even there. And it's saying, uh, videos with less than a thousand, vi so yeah, videos with less than a thousand views will not get l looked at until you hit a thousand views. But it's at 26,000, 27,000 views two days later after it launches, and then they take away my monetization. I, I sometimes that, that part of YouTube it just drives me nuts. How can it be okay for a day and a half, two days? And then all of a sudden they take away the monetization. It just drives me nutty. The best way, I'm like rambling and crazy. And the best way to get you guys to understand, imagine, imagine going to work every day and then some days they're like, yeah, yeah we're not gonna pay you today. And there's, and there's no way of appealing that. You can't talk to anybody, why? Why am I not getting paid today? Because you're doing everything right. You're doing everything by the rules. But today, you know what? Yeah, we're not gonna pay you today. You just get a little notice in your in your mailbox saying that you're not getting paid. That's what it's like. Crazy. As you can see, uh, we are finished the taxes and account. Not not accounting. It was bookkeeping. So we organized a whole lot of stuff, and there was uh, two things that we couldn't figure out. So I had to phone the bank and uh, get them to do a little detective work. Like two two uh, payments coming into my business account that uh, we couldn't figure out where they came from. I have no record of it somehow. Anyway, so what were my books? Are my books easier this year or are they? Um, I think so. As bad as I last think so. year. It seems to be. Uh, I seem to identify most things. Yeah, you, I guess you're getting used to Stop. where where things are coming from and going to. Yeah. So you don't have to ask me as much. No. All right, you ready for dinner? All right.
haven't got Ben and Carol. And uh, it is time to feed. Closed. All right, we got our food. Uh, I did schnitzel. Mom, you did. You did chicken schnitzel. No, you did pork schnitzel. Mm -hmm. And then with and this is um, paprikash sauce. Paprikash sauce. Pa I tried paprikash. 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 <laughs> paprikash. And uh, you got what I got. Chicken schnitzel. No, you did the chicken schnitzel. Chicken. So did I did pork. pork schnitzel. And I'm not have eaten as much because I had to do the whole social media thing. And Ben did. Cordon Bleu. And it was good. Ben gave me a little piece. Actually, Ben gave me an L large. Cheese, yeah. Ben gave me a piece that was way too big. I didn't think he'd share that much with me. <laughs> I thought he was going to give me like a tiny little quarter size piece, but he gave me a chunk. Thanks, Ben. No problem. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.